In his State of the State, Governor Christie named so many other cities in so many other states that he might have been mistaken for a travel agent. Even though he has yet to announce whether he'll run for president, the national implications of today's speech are huge. If there's any question about that, the governor's pre-speech, off-the-record briefing said it all. David Cruz joins me now. David? Hi, Mary Alice. Yes, there was a lot of talk about this on social media, uh, and you heard uh, it referenced here in Michael's talk right now and earlier in the day during Michael's package with uh, Matt Katz. The governor uh, excluded the local media because clearly this was a speech that was not intended for local consumption necessarily. He wanted to speak to a wider audience and he wanted to brief the uh, press who would, reporting the, who, who would be reporting this on the national networks, CNN, et cetera. It's not the first time that the governor has kind of left the local press out when he decided a few years ago not to run for the presidency. They seated all of the national media first and then put the rest of us in there. And some of us ended up in the back having to shout and try to be heard. Uh, so he will do this from time to time. He says to us, like last year, for instance, he went almost two months without a, uh, without a press conference. And he says, oh, you guys see me all the time. And he said that today as well, that you guys get to see me all the time. So not to worry about it. But a lot of us noticed, and uh, I think a lot of us were kind of angry, some more than others, but... Is the governor betting that this, uh, that they're not going to ask tough questions, like about Bridgegate? Yeah, I think part of that was his knowledge that the national media is going to concentrate on these national issues in, in the macro sense and not get so much into the micro. David Cruz, thank you. Thank you, Mary Alice.